All right, um, so we want to talk about electrolysis. You might want to ask, what is electrolysis? Electrolysis is a chemical decomposition of the substance by the passage of electric current, right? You break down substance by just passing electric current through it. Now we have um, far again laws of electrolysis. We have the first law, we have the second law. However, um, we're going to be focusing on, on the Faraday's first law of electrolysis, which states that the amount of substance, right, the amount or mass of a substance deposited at the cathode during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity used for the quantity of electricity passed. Now, there are various ways one can actually carry out calculations based on first law, but this formula here is actually going to help us to carry out any calculations at all as far as first law is concerned. All right? Now, this is mass all over molar mass. Now, this mass over molar mass can also be replaced by n number of moles because mass over molar mass is something as mole, right? So, but since they hardly, we hardly come across mole in electrolysis waste, it is always mass. So that's what we have. This is mass. Small letter m is a mass, and the capital letter m is a molar mass. So this formula is used to carry out calculations pertaining to the first law: mass over molar mass equals to Q all over n f. Now this Q here is actually the quantity of electricity we are talking about, right? The Q is current times time, right? So why I gave all this formula is that most of the times they can just give us quantity of electricity directly. The unit of quantity of electricity is always in coulombs. Or they can actually give us current and time. Now, this is always a predominant one. We're going, we're going to be seeing. You will hardly see a question that will give us the Q. You always give us um, the current and the time. So if you substitute your I times T here, this formula becomes mass over molar mass equals to current times time all over the head. Now, what do these parameters stand for? My M here is a mass of the substance in question. What's um, the amount of substance that is deposited? For example, and this capital letter N is a molar mass of the substance. If you notice, they all have units. So it means that if the equation should give us any other units other than this, you have to carry out conversion. The mass must be in grams. The molar mass must be in grams per mole. The current, which is your I, is in ampere. Your T is in seconds. This F is a constant, 96500 for this constant. And of course, we have our N. Please pay attention. This N is the number of the number of moles of electron that is needed for a particular metal to reduce. For example, if I have Cu2 plus, for copper to be reduced, I'll gain this guy will gain two electrons and become this. Now, this N can also be called oxidation states of metal. Now, copper has plus two oxidation states and this guy will gain two electrons. Please, if you notice, I did not just say oxidation states. There is an emphasis on the words. If, if this guy is a non-metal, if the electrolysis question involves non-metal, the end will only stop at being number of moles of what? Electrons. The end will no longer be what? Oxidation state. Because sometimes you see something like the ring. Chlorine here will be something like this, right? And then you see chlorine will gain two electrons and become Cl2 minus Cl2. This guy. Now we cannot call this guy of the of this chlorine is what? Minus one. But the number of electrons gain is having two. So you will notice that for non-metals they don't correspond, right? But for metals they must correspond. So that is why I said this guy is also what of the of what? The metal. Now, our Q is quantity of electricity, right? Now, there is a question here I'd like us to take. Please put down the question. Okay, please put down. Let me write it out. The mass of silver Deposited when a current of ten ampere 
is passed through Here we have one two eight. All right, now this is a question. The question says. They are asking us for the mass. The mass of silver, the mass of silver deposited when a current of 10 ampere is passed through a solution of silver salt. Now, this silver salt is what we call the electrolyte. It's important for us to know that every electrochemical cell will actually make use of what we call electrolyte. Electrolyte is always, now listen, is always going to be the salt of the metal in question. If I want to electroplate, if I want to electroplate copper on a substance, the electrolyte must contain copper. So I'm going to use a copper salt, right? Metal salt of copper for that. If I want to electroplate calcium, for example, I'll use electrolyte that is actually a salt of what? Calcium. So here, we want to electroplate silver. The, the mass of silver is what they're asking us, and they look at electrolyte is silver salt. Okay, and what is salt? Salt is actually obtained. HCl, if I replace this guy with a metal, NaCl, this becomes a salt. So, silver nitrates or silver salts can be this. This is a salt. AgNO3, this is also a salt. Because we simply replace the H with a metal. If you replace this H with sodium, sodium is a metal, right? You have NaCl. Sodium NaCl is a salt. Okay. So let's solve this question once and for all. Now, before we solve the question, I would like us to write down the parameters. The mass, the small letter m, is what we are asked to find. You can see that. Now, when a current of 10 ampere, the current is 10 amp. They gave it to us. Now, the time. C is 4830 seconds. Right? Now, what else do we need? Now, the molar mass of this guy, they give us AG, this is the molar mass of silver. This is the capital, capital molar mass of silver is this guy. So our capital letter M is 108. Now, now, recall that we have N over capital letter M equals to I all over N F. Now we call this formula. N is what we are asked to find. But capital letter N is known. I is known. T is known. F, which is our product, is also what? But what is not known is what? N. So what is this now? Now for silver, please, silver is always AG plus. Silver ion is always H what? So silver will always require one electron. So since silver will always require one electron, oxidation state of silver is also plus one, right? So our N here becomes equal to what? One. So therefore, we've gotten every other thing apart from our N, right? So I'll come here. So we have we have M all over capital letter M equals to I times T all over N. Plus, I want to make this guy subject of the formula at once. At once. So that once I solve this, I'll get my answer. The cross multiply this becomes M N F equals to M I T. Okay? I want this guy to stand the so I'll divide both sides by N F. So when you divide both sides by NF, M becomes MIT all over what? NF. So let's in, insert our values. 
Now this capital letter N is what we get. Our current is what? Ten. Our time is what? Our end is what? Our this guy is what? Please press your calculator for me. Eh? Fifty-four. Fifty-four. That's option what? Option B. So you can see how we got the answer live and direct. A certain amount of current, a certain amount of current was passed through. Let me tell us another scope, another skill we can use to get this, uh, this end. Most of the times, when they give you the electrolytes, you see something like they say copper two sulfate. Um, um, ion 3. Those three, those oxidation states is actually that of the metal, so you can equally use it. Now they use copper solution. The most common copper solution is copper 2, so copper 2 sulfate. So the end here is going to be 2. Take note of that because copper has two oxidation states, right? All right? But this guy is the most predominant. So let's put down this. Now, current is what I'm asked to find. Current is I. My time is 30 minutes. Let me also use this opportunity to explain something here. Most of the times, you see something like 1 hour 30 minutes, 45 minutes 20 seconds, or thereabouts. So imagine they have said one hour, 30 minutes. Some persons might get confused in this or spend a lot of time trying to unravel this. It's very simple. How many minutes is present in one hour? 60 plus 30 plus how many minutes? Take one to the next one and add it up. 30 minutes is half of one hour, isn't it so? So this is that say one hour, So you, you either say 1.5 hour or what? 19 minutes. So they can convert hours to seconds or convert minutes to what? Seconds, right? So take note of that. So as they told us 30 minutes, but you cannot solve for this allowing your time to be minutes. But change it to what? Now for me to do this, I'll say 30 minutes times I'll put minutes down and I'll put seconds up because I want really to cancel minutes. How many minutes makes one how many seconds makes one minute? So this is 60 seconds and it's one minute. So if you multiply 30 by 60, this becomes 1800 seconds. The next parameter here is the mass of copper, which is small letter M, is 0.52 grams. In this particular case, they do not give us molar mass. So that is actually where you have to use your chemistry knowledge. Molar mass of copper is, so this is that copper is 63.5. Now, Mass is known. Molar mass, they will not give the molar mass, but you have to look for a way and know it. Right? You know the molar mass of the common element, most likely they're going to use. Zinc and copper are the two most common metals you're going to see. These two guys are very common, zinc and copper. Copper is 65. Current is what I'm asked to find. There's a question mark here. My time. Now, my N, copper is always 2 plus, and this guy will need two electrons to reduce to copper. So this N is equal to 2. The number of electrons, this N I said is the number of electrons which can be seen as this, but if that element is a metal, it can equally double as the oxidation state of that guy. 
So in, just in case you're asked to solve for position state of the metal, it is N they are referring to. So our N is equal to 2, and our N is 96500 Coulomb. So I'll say so therefore, N equals to I times T. If cross multiply, we have N N S equals to N I T. Now I is what I'm looking for. If I make S subject of the formula, I'll divide both sides by M T. So I becomes equals to M N S divided by My mass is 0 0.52, my n is 2, and my n is 96500. Now this is divided by the molar mass of copper is 63.5, and the time is 1800. Please evaluate this guy, what was the answer? 0 0.5. It's, 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 um, so let's verify that here. Yeah.